Hello? Oh god. Oh god, everything's fucked up. No, not video capture device. Hi! Shit. I blew it. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Plug that in. Yeah. Plug that into Plug there. Into here. And then... And, uh, oh, actually hand it to me. <laughs> Hi, Adam just got here. He's a little late. And, uh, no, no, you had it right. Don't, don't move it. Okay. Uh... Where's I gotta start the uh Don't move anything. <laughs> I had it all set up. There we go. Put that in there like that. Okay, like this. Yes. Gotcha. So yeah, so uh we're we're making it yeah, just right in there. And then you can sit down right there. Hopefully people can see your beautiful face. Let me adjust that a little bit. Uh There we go. Looks good. There's Adam Hammond. Woo! -hoo! From Cartilage. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and uh, I'm Ross Sewage from uh, Not Cartilage. So, anyways, hi. It is pizza time. Hi, Flabbeth. We're going to get... Uh, Flabbeth is here. I don't know if you know it's Flabbeth. Oh, yeah, but hi. Flabbeth is great. And we're going to start you. Grab a fucking orange. Grab First of all, hand me that mutant orange. This shit's weird. I was <laughs> at my folks' house this morning, and I picked this orange... Which is like, it either looks like a toucan, or it looks like a single ball and a big dick. I'm not really sure. Um, anyways. Uh, oh, he says, Flavis says you have one of the finest pieces of upper real estate. Uh, lip upper real estate. Thank you. He likes your stash. Thank you, Flavis. Grab an orange. There's orange oranges down there. In the bag. Yeah, we went, uh, I went picking at my folks' house this morning, Dude, and then rushed back here to get pizza stuff Holy ready. Shit. Yeah, we got some oranges. We're going to make some juice, and we're going to add a... Uh, Flav for Flavith, we're gonna add a shot of Jaeger to orange juice. Okay. It's pro I'm guessing it's gonna be fucking horrible. <laughs> so, hi. Big fan of you, Skowalker. I've never heard of you, but I'm sure you're great. Um, so yeah, start juicing some juice. Um, so yeah, Adam's here from Cartilage. I owed Adam a pizza party from a while ago. Two years and counting. Two years and counting, but let's get to the story on why, Adam. Why? I actually do not even remember anymore. Oh, oh, you don't remember. Okay, well, really quick. We're going to get started cooking pizza. I have... I can't remember. I have a sourdough pizza dough here Rinse that has been rising. What are you doing? Rinsing these? It, it's a, it's got a peel. Just uh, fucking peel. Oh, right, 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 right. I Adam's... Thought, I, thought, I thought we're supposed to juice the peel. Never mind. No, you don't juice the uh, peel. okay. Uh, <laughs> fucking Adam. So, um... So we've got a dough ready to go. We're gonna make that pizza, of course. That's my sourdough pizza. I did that before with Leon. But when uh, I had a party here some time ago uh, with Arata Mechanics, and I did this other pizza dough recipe for party pizza that rises really quickly in like an hour. Ooh. So we're gonna try to make two fucking pizzas. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we haven't really actually started um, hanging out yet. Adam literally just walked in the door while I was trying to throw all these stupid electronics together. Um, Skowalker, uh, you're, you, I'm sure you had pizza, but it's not going to be as good as mine if I can speak so boldly. <laughs> um, so this other pizza recipe is a quick rise. Oh, I need to get the yeast out. That was one thing I forgot. Trying to be more prepared and have this go smoother. Uh, what orange. are you doing? I'm trying to get the oranges in there. The well, what about your face? What about no your beautiful no one needs fucking to see my face? face. No one, it's just, We're going to scoot it back a little bit. I want them to know I'm actually working. There we go. <laughs> there we get uh, some oranges and add them in there. there we go. So, um, so this pizza should rise in an hour. Um, in the meantime, then we'll do the other pizza and have lots of fun. So Sick. I took, yeah, so Adam, you're getting tons and tons of pizza today. <laughs> So the first thing to do with this pizza is to get, um, you want your water and your yeast and your sugar and your salt and your oil to dissolve in a bowl. Um, so, and we're gonna, of course, measure everything with a kitchen scale. So. How many oranges am I doing, by the way? Um, I wish you was cooking for you too, Auto Mechanic, especially since I'm gonna be also making an endive salad which I've never done before, but we're gonna try to make an endive salad. You're getting you're getting the works today. All right. So two years ago, Adam and I have a we play in a group. Um, we don't have to mention that one. It's 
Just a local band. Just a local band. It doesn't fucking matter. So, and uh, this was at, we finally had 2021. We had the vaccination. I lied to get my vaccination for COVID. I told them I was a uh, help special needs students, which is, it's a bit of a stretch of the truth um, because I do, of course, help my nephew and I was going down to help out all the time. So Adam wanted to wait on his vaccination just to see what happened if millions of other people died, I'm assuming. I never, that... never even said that. I'm, I had to make assumptions, <laughs> like why you were waiting so long. Uh, like... I mean, I'm just observant to see how the way it goes. So I was just curious the way it went. Yeah, and Adam at the time also worked at a grocery store, so he was in, around the public all the time. So I have 225 grams of water. So Adam, oh, I need to turn that on. Turn on. So we have stove cam. Come on. There we go. So Adam, stove cam. you were, um, let's see what else was it. So then you had, um, you were working at a grocery store. Yeah. So you waited. So I told Adam because he was kind of holding up things for this band a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> we, we wanted to maybe start doing things and practicing again. And Adam was waiting and I told him if he ever got the vaccination, then I would give him a pizza party. And then I got it. And then Adam got the vaccination. The story doesn't end there. What happened next, Adam? Um, I honestly, it's kind of a blur. Maybe you can indulge us. Uh, oh, I, you want me to tell the story? So Adam goes and gets the COVID it. vaccination. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, you, you Adam goes and gets the COVID vaccination and we're all very happy and we're celebrating. He says, I got the COVID vaccination, everybody. So this one has a lot of yeast. One and a half teaspoons of yeast in this dough recipe. So go one and a half so adam gets the vaccination decides he's vaccinated joins a gym four days after he's been first vaccinated trying to lose that covid weight because that's how that shit works um it was a laudable everything was laudable but just his timing was off uh adam did not realize that he would not yet be immune to covid and ended up with covid and then gave it to all of cartilage. Yeah. These are all fun, true that was stories. Great. Um, great times. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's that's Adam's story. So I've been waiting on giving him a pizza party. And then when I said, hey, let's finally do that shit, Adam tells me he's on a fucking diet. <laughs> so this is a cheat day for Adam. Yes, this is a cheat day. I'm trying to be good this year, and I told him that I'm willing to have my cheat day on this pizza day because I've been waiting two years for this fucking pizza. Yes, so we're gonna get a pizza going. We're dissolving our yeast and everything into this water and sugar. It looks like a disgusting brown slurry. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show that. I only have so many cameras in here. So you want me to just keep going on these oranges? You keep going. Okay. You keep going on those oranges? Oh, you can uh, put them in that container when that thing fills up. Gotcha, okay, cool. That's the way that works. Sick. And then, yeah, one tablespoon olive oil. And we're just going to get this pizza dough going to, so and then we'll start on the other pizza, which is kind of sort of mostly ready to go. Need to make some sauce and some cheese. So Adam, yeah, what have, what have you been up to <laughs> band wise? Uh, let's see. Uh, Cartilage put out a new album last year. That's right. And the better, the better. And we put that out on Creator Destructor Records. And we did a two and a half week tour, I want to say, with uh, Gruesome on the West Coast in the fall. And that was like your first real um, tour package. Tour, like being like part of a tour with a tour manager yeah. and everything else. I learned how to advance shows, how to. It sucks, right? Yeah, it does. But. Shout out to Robin uh, from Gruesome. She held our hand the whole way and showed us the ropes and how to handle the music business part of being in a band. And uh, she made it easier for us. So. If there's anybody who fucking knows, it's Robin because she does a lot of tour managing for like a lot of big bands. Uh, Death Angel, I think. Exodus. Exodus. Cannibal Corpse at one point. Yeah, she was it. She was out with another band. She was supposed to be playing with Castrator. Yeah, she's also in Castrator. Like, she's in Castrator. Right she was supposed to be playing with Castrator, but had a much higher profile gig, 
and that was sad to not hang out with Robin on that tour, but I did get to meet Deanna, who filled in for her, and so that was also a pleasure. She was an yep. excellent person. Hell yeah. Um, so speaking of your record, well, let, we can, let's just, we'll do this now. So Cartilage made a video. I can't play the whole video because I can't break copyright things. But uh, I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play the beginning of the video. Oh yeah, go ahead. It's one of the most genius videos I've ever seen. <laughs> um, it's uh, so yeah. This is for uh, uh, better, better. The better the better. The better the better. So I have the intro for that video, which features maybe a few familiar faces, and uh, let's see if this plays correctly. In the mundane town of Concord, California. A mother loses her child to a murderer's drunken rage. You know, just when I dropped him off and I saw that hooligan death metal arcade with the bullet belts and the studs. The violently stabbed body found on a hiking trail. The cause of death was unclear. Uh, however, after speaking to the medical examiner, we're leaning towards uh, the 5 to 200 stab wounds. Will clues collected? sampled and tested lead to the arrest of this murder most foul between the source of the patches the unfrayed seams on the vest the lack of spilled alcohol and body odor in the vest we concluded that this victim was indeed a poser I hope the audio came through on that because it's amazing. And um, Mark called me in to play the, I don't remember, Dr. Butts or whatever the fuck my name was in that. And when I saw the end results of that video, mm -hmm. they were so good. And it was such a funny fucking video that we hired the director. Nico DeLuna. Nico DeLuna. Anyways, I, I'm so angry at you all for even having that video and me not having the idea first because it was <laughs> fucking genius yeah it was basically uh for those who haven't seen it it's based off uh, forensic files and um yeah we just kind of mocked our favorite episode from episodes from forensic files and just trying to make it as goofy as possible it was very good um, <laughs> so yeah and the song is fantastic too the video continues for a while um so i've got a pizza dough here this is the going to be the second pizza dough we're gonna see if this rises in an hour. It did the last time I made it and it was really good. So get that off my fingers and we're gonna have to wash my fingers. And uh, we've got, the oven has been preheating for uh, an hour. Um, let's see, oh, I forgot. I wanted to, uh, while that was going on, I saw Flabbeth's uh, end dive pun and I wanna applaud you on such a terrible joke. It's really actually quite funny. <laughs> So how much orange juice do we have? A glass yet? Uh, I, I did one full one, and then now I am just working on the second one. Good one. Uh, we got, according to Flavit, his recipe for his master cocktail of Jaeger and orange juice is one glass of orange juice and one shot of Jaegermeister. So I actually, for the first time, maybe in my entire life, I bought Jaegermeister like I was some kind of college student. Wow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so... We've got, uh, oh, I gotta make a sauce before the pizza. That's crucial. Of course, we're gonna use canned tomato sauce because the canned tomato sauce is, um, it's the freshest tomatoes you can get for a sauce. I don't know if you know that. In a can? Yes, the canned tomato sauce is best because these are picked at peak ripeness, mulched, ready to go, oh. perfectly preserved little tomato knowledge for you. I never knew that. I've made marinara with fresh tomatoes and it's a fucking rip-roaring pain in the fucking ass. Um, Does the same go for getting chickens in a can? Are those the freshest? Chickens in a can? Yeah. Do they sell chickens in a can? That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I don't fucking know about chickens Are those the cream of the can. crop as well? <laughs> oh my god. I would presume not. In okay, that so case. just tomatoes. Just tomatoes. Just tomatoes. tomatoes. Just tomatoes. And uh, some other canned vegetables, but definitely tomatoes are absolutely fantastic. Uh, out of the can and a lot easier to work with and I still have fucking dough all over my hands. So our sauce, um, I go pretty simple on the sauce. Um, what do I need? I need sugar because pizza sauce needs a little bit of sugar to take the tartness out of the tomato. 
Let's see if I can make this cam work. Uh, was this one? It's not working. Why? Okay, GoPro is on. Son of a bitch. All the technical difficulties today. Oh, it turned off. Turn back on. No. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now we should have stove cam. So we're going to make stove cam. Stove cam. It's very exciting. It's also, it's a little laggy. because Wow. The GoPro. But uh, look at that mounting. Yeah, I feel like my GoPro just hanging Jeez. from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna put uh, so this going. I like to heat it up to get the sauces, the flavors moving around in there. I guess I have to talk up because I have not figured out stove microphone yet. Hmm. But let's see here. We got that. We need a pinch of sugar and some salt. And for the viewers at home, do you let your dough sit overnight or do you kind of just make it fresh the same day? The dough that I'm preparing for you, my sourdough, is, um, that takes a four hour rise. It's, um, it's a little bit of yeast. The sourdough is largely more for flavor. I'm going to throw some garlic in here. Um, so it's a four hour rise. I've done a pure sourdough pizza. And I need to work on that. It was an absolute fucking disaster. <laughs> it was terrible. So I, it takes about 24 hours to do that. Nate from Brain Oil has been feeding me his pizza that he oh, does nice. over several days. And it's absolutely bonkers delicious. And I'm going to have to try to match him. So we got some basil, some oregano. I want to put in some... See the. Yeah, that looks like two glasses. I think we're ready for that next after I get this sauce cut. Cool. I'll put some red pepper for a little bit of heat. And the secret I found when I made pizza last time for Arata Mechanics when she was out here was I accidentally meant to put in garlic and I grabbed garam masala. Hmm. Just not just you know not quite the same. Used for Indian <laughs> food and yeah. not garlic. <laughs> and I loved it. And so I'm putting some garam masala into the into the pizza awesome. sauce because it was absolutely delicious. And so we just had that, oh, we have to turn the heat on, put that on a low heat, and we'll let that kind of simmer and think about some things. All right, now I think it's time that we try, in honor of my good friend, Flavith, we're gonna, we got enough for orange juice, so. He's talked about this a lot on this. You've heard of Ghoul, right? Uh, that band? Some local so, band. So, yeah, Flabbeth, Flabbeth is on their stream a lot. Sometimes oh, okay. he plays with them. Sometimes he's just hanging out. And uh, That's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, it is a bummer. <laughs> hanging out with Ghoul? I would imagine that kind of sucks. Yeah. And, oops. Forgot to make more ice. Do I have this? I have my egg ice. Perfect little fun balls. Oh. oh yeah. Sorry, I have not figured out why the iPhone does that. Um, sometimes it cuts out for some reason, just like it has resets. Oh, yeah. interesting. I'm I'm just getting this whole thing together. So I'm tripping out that you have it uh, clamped on there as horizontal, but it shows up as vertical on the. Uh... Yeah, that's because um, I don't pay for the professional version of the program that allows <laughs> me to do that. So you want to hand me that juice? Yeah, juice. So. All right, we got a couple ice cubes in there. So we've got. Is it, I hope we're doing this right, Flabbit. We're gonna have some glass of orange juice. Fresh, fresh, fresh from the yard. My dog, my my parents' dog, shit in. To the palm so you know it's really nutritious. Hands. Absolutely. We've got the Jaeger on ice back here, as Jaeger always should be. I don't even know the last time I had Jaeger, dude. Oh, we're going to start having it now. <laughs> it's Super Bowl Monday. Fuck yeah. yeah. So he said a shot, so let's do, let's do a nice, healthy, big shot. I really will be surprised if this is any good. 
we're probably just going to ruin two glasses of orange juice is what's going to happen. So we're just trusting Flabeth with this? Yeah, and Flabeth is not trustworthy. He likes active pickups and bases. Mm. It's terrible. So, but I'll give anything a shot one to two to three times. So that's, that's, uh, where did I put that thing? All right, here we go. Here's your, your bevy. Mix that up. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm not it's, sure I like it. It's it's a drink. It's definitely not <laughs> as disgusting as I thought yeah, it could possibly yeah. be. That's that's what I was thinking. It too. just kind of adds a little bit of spice to the orange juice and like, and I guess with fresh orange juice, it does add some nice sweetness. Yeah. Very licoricey. Oh yeah, I mean that's Jaeger for you, right? All right, well we're gonna pretend to enjoy these. Not the worst thing I've ever tasted. So. Could have been worse, Flav. It could have been worse. Could have been a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not bad. I don't know if I'll be doing it again. Yeah. But we'll. We'll. Anyways, we'll finish. Look at this shit. Look. It looks like fucking vomit. <laughs> it looks like baby diarrhea. Piss vomit. Hmm. All right. Where were we at? We had a sauce. The sauce we just heated up on. And then we've got a dough. I want to get the dough out, and then maybe I'll start assembling a salad. Oh, cool! Because uh, nice. a dough greens. should technically, once you get a dough out, you should have you should take some time to let it sit, mm -hmm. so that it has. And then this is my that's what I use for a pizza pan, a pizza peel. I'm sure Uncle D's got something better than that. But yeah, so the, uh, the this pizza dough I made around noon today. Um, so it could have time to rise, and, and it's got uh, my sourdough starter that I got off my friend Celeste a long time ago. You remember her as the pizza lady from the Metro? Oh yeah, I do. Yes. Towards the tail end, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so that was I Celeste. The Metro. During the pandemic, yeah. I was panicking because I couldn't find yeast anywhere. And I make a lot of bread. Right. So I looked for someone to give me sourdough because I knew an older one would be better. I didn't mm. want to start a sourdough because it's mm. a pain in the ass and mm. it takes time. So this is. It's not as smelly as I was hoping. I don't know. See if you can smell any sour in there. Not not too bad, but. Well, it should be okay. Anyways, yeah. it's still a dough with yeast in it, so it'll be fine. Looks pretty. So we're gonna put that out. So what else is, uh, uh, so you got cartilage. What's coming up for cartilage? Coming up for you got, cartilage. You guys are playing lots of local shows all the time. You yeah. Keep pretty busy. We uh, we just played Modesto last night, and I've never been nor played Modesto. I don't know if you've played Modesto. I don't think I ever have. You played Modesto last night. Literally last fresh night. Fresh off a show. Yeah, fresh off a here. show. So it was a house show, which I haven't played in years. And Fun. these people hit us up from that house, and they're like, how much do you need to play? And we told them a number, and they said, fuck yeah. And they were so on top of the shit, they sent us half our guarantee before we even... Wait, you had a it. guarantee for a house show? Well, because it's fucking Modesto, so it's like, what? Like, it's, I guess like you're it's like... It's kind of a drive. You're like, you know? look, we're not going to do it unless we get a guarantee. Yeah, yeah, Smart. I mean... Smart. You know, because it's like, I'm driving from San Francisco, the other half of the band members are coming from Hayward, and... Concord, so it's it's a bit of a drive. So we just didn't know what to expect, and we didn't know the people. But lo and behold, uh, good vibes off the start. As soon as I rolled up, there was hands everywhere helping with gear, and the show was packed. And Modesto is a great spot to play, but unfortunately there isn't many places to play, so people are really hungry for music out there. So if anybody gets offered to play a house show there, I highly recommend. Interesting. I would yeah. never have... have really thought much of Me Modesto. Neither. I think the most yeah. most I knew about Modesto, like Exum played there before I was in the band with mm. the Meat Shits, I think it was. Wow, the Meat Shits. Yeah, I think so they're still around. I think they, unfortunately, they might be. Yeah. Um, I was actually listening to your new album today, and I wanted to talk to you because a lot of, you're, you're not really um, super online, right? You're just like kind of Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, and I post a couple drum videos here and there, but... So one thing I, know, I was... was thinking about while listening to your record was first of all I'd never seen the word uh, like thought of the word gurgitate as opposed to regurgitate ah uh, yes the gurgitator 
Regurgitator, yeah. And I, I realized that the word regurgitate is a stupid word because uh -huh. we, regurgitating is like, it's the first time you're doing it. It's yeah. the first time you're shooting food up from your stomach. Mm -hmm. It's not really redoing anything. Mm -hmm. Like you ate it. Yeah. And then you gurge it. <laughs> yeah. So regurgitate's a stupid fucking word. Yeah. Um, oh, did I miss? Witchy moment, did I fuck up? Do we need to get Sunny D for this? I fucked. We, you know what? I think that's why this yeah, Flavis Jaeger drink isn't maybe not hitting the way it's supposed to because we were supposed to use really cheap, shitty fucking orange juice. So I wasn't supposed to use these? No. Oh, there's a garbage down there I made it for you. Uh, oh, yeah, cool. I see it. Yeah. I'm on top of it. Nice, thanks. Clean kitchen. Um, Very clean. So. But the, so the online discourse, as it were, there was quite a bit of um, talk this week about uh, like gore lyrics and what's appropriate for gore lyrics. Uh -huh. and are we past the days of shock value or having things um, kind of be um, ridiculously over the top? Misogynistic was the, the large part of it. And I noticed that's like, like, uh, like, Impaled. Um, I can't really say like Exhumed because Exhumed has some pretty questionable lyrics. In the <laughs> Before I rejoined, we don't do. I, I asked and you know. Anyways, um, but yeah, cat. Uh, uh, you guys have very silly lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> like silly, they're gross. There's like a lot of gross shit uh -huh. going on. Yeah. But you're a bunch of you're a bunch of clowns. You're a bunch of silly heads. Yeah. It's it's. The whole point is, gore is cool, but we wanted to put the tongue-in-cheek B-movie, B-horror movie factor, where it's, you know, if you, as if you're watching a cheap horror, look how pretty that is. Let me just point out, uh, I don't know if Uncle D or the Liquor Ghost are going to be here, but fuck you, it's going to be a nice, beautiful round pizza, cooked on a pizza steel, which should be emanating temperatures as high as 800 degrees if you were to touch it, which would hurt a lot. Emanating. So, yes, go on about your uh, your tongue out of your cheek. Yeah, because tongue out of the cheek, out of the bee whore. Uh, yeah, I mean, the gore thing, we're all super into it, and we all started this band because we like gory stuff, gory films, gory music, but we also take pride in not taking ourselves super seriously. <laughs> so I feel like you got to have fun with it if you're in a band because uh, if you're not having fun, then what's the point? Um, so, yeah, I mean... I mean, I think I, I saw something similar with, I saw somebody's opinion that said, in terms of horror movies, they're like, if the new Evil Dead isn't full of disgusting, serious horror, I'm going to be disappointed. And I was like, yo, I like the Evil Dead where, like, Bruce Campbell has to fight his hand. It's way yeah. cooler. Like, <laughs> I want to laugh. I love comedy horror. Yeah, comedy horror is the best. So you guys do a good job of that. Um, what were the, some of the other song titles? There was Gurgitator. You know, I wrote one. I wrote my first lyric on, first song lyrics on this album, and it was called Axe Scratcher, and I take pride in that one. That is a terrible, terrible pun. Thank you. It's uh, Axe Scratcher is about this guy who wakes up with an axe in his back and he's got a pool of blood that he has to swim through while maggots are eating away at his gash. <laughs> That's, I mean, solid. And he keeps, solid. he keeps slipping and drowning on his own blood and he's not making any progress out the front door. So. And, you, and you know what that does? He does. Get, you know what it didn't feature? Any misogynistic lyrics uh, victimizing women like no. like, a, like an incel. Yeah, we didn't really think of that. When you have you have <laughs> an interesting dynamic in your group in the first place. Mm -hmm. You've got um, a brother and sister. Oh yeah, Mark and Rhea. So Mark and Rhea are brother and sister, and she's the, the guitar player and the vocalist, Mark. And then you also mm -hmm. have uh, a couple in your band. Yeah, so Mike is the other guitar player, and uh, her and Rhea uh, have been together for many years, and they're actually uh, engaged at the moment, too, so congrats to them. I did not realize they'd gotten engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. they're such a cute couple. Yeah, so cheers. cheers to that. Cheers to Rhea. Yep. Mike. So, yeah, so that's, like, an interesting dynamic, but, like, just yeah. also in terms of a gore band, Yeah. Um, Having a, a woman in the band is oh, not yeah. exactly the most uh, common thing. On Besides, the like if you're talking about hemorrhage from Spain. Yeah, there's hemorrhage, which um, Rhea looks up to for sure. Uh, but yeah, there's hemorrhage. I mean, uh, it's awesome to see more um, more women in the underground showing up now. Um, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So and uh, bring a bunch of uh, not in cell vibe, which I, I <laughs> definitely appreciate. Yeah. So let's see what you think of this sauce. Oh shit! Nice. Make sure we're, we're doing 
doing okay here. This guy. Oh yeah. Good That's sauce. delicious. That's okay. very good. All right, we've got a good pizza sauce. That's delicious. I still don't think I'm ready necessarily to throw it on, but we can turn the heat off the sauce. Holds that ten minutes on the sauce when you're simmering it. Yeah. Well, because I want to make the endive salad, and um, so endive salad I've never made before. I want to get to. I just don't want to get ahead of myself here and, mm -hmm. and throw a pizza in and then screw everything the fuck yeah, yeah. up. So if you're not too hungry. No, I'm fine. You want to check on the Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah. We you do? Play. I don't. Anyways. Well, I mean. <laughs> just moving to, on. Just to keep up with people. <laughs> nah. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> so I've got a, I've got a, what is this? A, a Bartlett. I'm making my endive salad. I wish the fucking iPhone wouldn't do that. I don't yeah. understand what's going on there. <laughs> um, a Bartlett. I'm going to make endives, walnut. Bartlett pear. Um, oh, this is one thing I have to get going I, before we get too far. Because we are topping our pizza. I gotta make some roasted garlic because oh, roasted garlic nice. is, is the best. Yeah, so. Good touch. This, I actually, unlike any of my other cooking streams, actually pre prepared something and cut out all these little garlics. And of course, you can't see them in the light. There we go, all the little garlics. So we're just gonna put them on a piece of foil. Drop a little olive oil on them and put them in the roaster in my oven. All right, that was in there. Last time I did this, I had to do it twice because I burnt the first batch, but mm. I think we'll get it right this time. So how long in the oven? Uh, about five, 10 minutes, depending, but I'll have to just double check it mm -hmm. because my oven has like no temperature gauge or anything else. So maybe I'm winging it here. So put that on and I have the hand light the oven because it's just probably sitting here poisoning me with gas all day. Is that oven from like the 50s? It's pretty fucking old. It is looks like uh, it late 50s, early 60s. Made with, made with asbestos? <laughs> yeah, they're probably, they're probably is asbestos in here. Yeah. So, Keep the old things pizza. are best. The old things are best. Yeah. Um, they don't make them like they used to. Hell no, they don't. So, let's get another bowl out for, well, maybe another bigger bowl. All right, we got a big bowl. So we're gonna cut up this Bartlett pear. Mm -hmm. And I wish I had a coring thing, but I don't. So I'm still, there's gonna be, at some point, if I keep doing this, there's gonna be a point where I'm going to the hospital. Uh, put Jaeger in the pizza sauce. Flabeth, you can go fuck yourself. We've gone far enough with your Jaeger. Um, we're not putting Jaeger in the pizza sauce. You've gone too far, Flabeth. Disgusting. <laughs> um, we are fully prepared to make other drinks uh, that are not Jaeger and orange juice. So, flabs, no. <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, anyways, yeah, so you're interesting dynamic in your group. Yeah, so it's like a family. Uh, and then we recruited um, our bass player, Keenan Hamilton, who is from Bob Plant uh, and Raw Topsy. Uh, which is more underground grind community, and he's super, super talented. He's like the uh, it? Steve Harris of grind, you know. He, uh, I was gonna say, he's really good. <laughs> I was gonna say, speaking of that, on your cover of Impetigo Boneyard, oh, yeah, which I thought was really good at the, at the end of the record. Impetigo is one of my favorite bands of all time, and you did a very authentic, good cover. You, I was just like, wait, I was like, it, I was like listening, and I was like. I was like, well, that do but do but do but yeah. do but do but do but 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 yeah. So I was waiting for every little drum hit. And I was like, oh, yeah. nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Yeah. The bass playing's too good. Yeah, he's he's just he flawless. fucking played the bass too good. <laughs> yeah, he's like doing <laughs> runs on it, and I was like, it's not super. It's not like Steve DiGiorgio annoying, but yeah. I was like, Steve O Steve O couldn't play that bass line. <laughs> Steve O Steve O from Chicago could not have played that yeah. bass line. Um, well, you know, that's the whole but, point. Uh, to me, that's the whole point of cover is adding your own little touch to it. Yeah, you can add. Well, I mean, yeah, certainly you did a slightly different vocal pattern. Yeah. And uh, I thought I had a vegetable peel. I don't. Oh, here it is. I don't know if I should have peeled these already, but we're gonna peel this for the endive salad. I think. There we go. Sweet. Have some nice. Normally, I hate peeling things. I love the skin, but I think in a salad it might be weird. Mm. Right? Yeah. I like, wonder what you could use the skin for. Um, you can use it in my non-compost and throw garbage. it the fuck away. Yeah. Good call. Use it to clog up my faucet. That would work. <laughs> and um, 
This called for, I was just looking up endive salad. This was Arata Mechanics was the one who turned me up and said, I love endive salad and I have not been able to find endives, but I finally found them. It's a pricey way to make a fucking salad, but nothing but the best for you, my friend. Thank you, Ross. Um, Two years into making for this pizza. Yeah, I know. The pizza, <laughs> and this is actually not going to take that long to make this pizza because I've actually got everything prepped. Oh, but, yeah. um, what did I say? Oh yeah, and where are we on time? So the other pizza still is a good ways away from being ready to go. We'll just see how this goes. I might add this actually. Ross actually did make me a pizza-ish, but it was a frozen pizza. Oh yeah. He so he it kind didn't of, count. He kind of like twenty five percent came through, but uh, well, that was at the end of it. You we, what what show were we at? We uh, I think that was Mortuous at. That's right, Mortuous at Eli's. Eli's and, and I was taken off, and you were like, hey. Let's go let's fucking let's go get drink, <laughs> let's go get drunk in a bar and I said no I'm absolutely not going to another bar I went to a bar tonight to see a show yeah because I'm a stick in the mud and I just don't want to go spend seven or eight dollars on beers so Adam sort of invited himself over which yeah. is cool and I had a frozen pizza for him but it I, wasn't bad and he used uh, the Red Baron which I remember specifically and then you added your own little touch on top of it the of red, red Baron crust uh, for frozen pizza for frozen pizza I keep very good I keep a Red Baron frozen pizza in my freezer just in case because there's always those nights where it just had a little too much mm -hmm. um, hey Duck King how's it going I had um, you'll notice that I had Adam was uh, I had him peeling oranges just like I had you doing the other day. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we uh, so we came back here, tossed back a few, and that's when I was reminded about the pizza party that I owed Adam. And oh yeah. I was like, okay, I, I gotta actually do this for him. And then you said last night because we were uh, we were at the show, so I wasn't checking my phone much. And then Ross texts and says, "Oh, tomorrow at four. Does that sound good?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And then he's like. All right, cool. I'm gonna advertise it, and I was like, "Oh shit! I wonder what that means." It means I'm. <laughs> oh, it means I'm gonna throw a couple fucking um, JPEGs up on fucking Twitter and Instagram. I'm just trying to actually be better about uh, doing this stream and having fun with it and being organized because yeah. uh, it's been pretty higgledy piggledy up to this point. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got some nice pears, squares here, pears. Supposed to go in the salad. Um, we've got, and then we've got endives, and the way we want it. What are you doing? I'm just seeing who the hell's on here. Oh, uh, I don't know what. Oh, wait, what's wrong with Ohio trains? I, I, I missed something here. Um, Ohio. Oh yeah, the toilet. All right, did the toilet emote come through? I guess it did. It's a subscriber thing. Oh yeah, Arado Mechanics subscribed. Whoa, we got some other subscribers. Your little toilets now. I made that this morning. I drew a toilet. I was drawing a toilet. My nephew came up to me and said, what are you drawing? And then he wanted to draw a toilet too. So I'm spreading the love in my family. Oh, I don't know cool. if you, can you see the little toilet there? Oh yeah, it's the red toilet? Yeah, that little toilet yeah, yeah. emoji. Holy shit. You're welcome. I'm putting hard work into this. Nice. So we're gonna take the end dives. I've already washed them. Cut the ends off, then we're gonna split them that uh, split them that way, and then that way. Wow. So these are a more buttery lettuce. It is just basically a lettuce. I can't say I've had this before. Uh, I have never had endives before either, and I had to read about it. So um, they are that one. That leaf doesn't look good, but they apparently are. Some guy brought them. They're French or European, at least. And um, some guy brought them to California eventually because, of course, we have a wonderful growing climate here. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently California endives are some of the best around. So we nice. should be in for a treat. Maybe so, I, I've, had, I've had them before because I see the, in, the inside of them look sort of familiar. Yeah, they're used a lot for um, sometimes they cut, use them to cut things. Oh, okay. um, oh, witchy mama, you are super goddamn generous. I what knew is, I was going to feel bad about what that. What does that bell mean? Um, I think Witchy Mama is gifting some sub subscriptions to people oh, nice. right now. So let's see here. So we're going to split the endives up in there, kind of toss them around. Um, you ever heard of a oh. Japanese grind band called Endon? Endon? Yeah, it reminds me of that vegetable. 
What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> end Dives, End Dawn, I mean, I don't know, something to check out. Well, speaking of other death metal bands, you have another project. Oh, right. Good with... segue, Josh. Or, I know your name, Ross. <laughs> Adam's one of the smartest people I know. <sighs> yes. Um, I also play in another band called Mantra, which is a, like, industrial, like, brutal death metal band with... Uh, my buddy Paul from Origin and Rudy from Cyanic and Genocide Skin. Oh, that's the GoPro dying. That's fine. Oh, no. I'll turn it back on if we need the oven cam again. So it uh, didn't die. It just turns off, and I have not figured it out yet. Oh, so. that's strange. Maybe the batteries drink. Uh, the batteries on those are kind of. I think it has something to do with the streaming, and it just decides to not play. It's plugged in. I don't oh. fucking know. Go on about. Oh yeah. Your other band. So yeah, Mantra also put out an album last year. So I had two releases last year and uh, we put out our first full length and uh, that was independent and we played a couple shows so far and um, for those listening uh, we're actually going to be opening for Vader and Christian Ooh. and Firth that's April. a brutal fucking show that's Holy a brutal shit. show April 14th at DNA Lounge in San Francisco so I haven't seen Christian in fucking years dude they really, really dude amazing I mean that's gotta be one of your drum heroes I oh assume. yeah Max is fucking awesome dude just like full on muscle just fucking blast the whole time and just so consistent so I love a good drummer that plays plays fast and hits hard at the same time so yeah, so well, you managed to do that. Who would Sometimes. like that was uh yeah, I know you said like Raul from Impale was an influence on you at mm -hmm. one point. Mm -hmm. Um or or is in some way. Yeah. I was wondering cuz I was as I was listening to the record, I heard some Chris Reifert in there. Did I hear Chris Reifert in there? Or Interesting. Am I it up? You know, Chris Reifert actually influenced me but in so sort of a different way, like cuz my first band that I had from 2011 to 2018 was an atmospheric black metal band called Ion that I started and it was fun and with that band I did vocals and drumming at the same that's time. That's right, you do vocals. Which was directly of, influenced by Chris Reifert from Autopsy because I was a huge Autopsy. Yeah, you're one of the rare ones you actually do vocals and drums. Yeah, yeah, so I don't, I don't do that too much with Cartilage but in the... Uh, you do something a little I, I do some backups for sure but I'm not like the lead. I can't do lead shit anymore. <laughs> well, the reason I was asking about the influence was I was hearing it in your kick drum stroke. Oh, interesting. Especially on like your four on the floor uh -huh. like do ba do ba do ba do ba do Oh, yeah, like, yeah, the little kind of random. There. I don't forget what that's called. There's yeah, a name for that. Uh, I can't remember not either. Plan, but plan, like, it's but like when you're doing a, like a D beat and you're kind of just like skipping every other and doing mm -hmm. two hits one two hits one two hits on the kick yeah so. uh just saying and not like and he totally does that he yeah. does that a lot yeah it's chris reifert does that a lot i love that uh, how chris reifert does that and i've always like tried to throw that yeah to make other drummers do the same thing it's fun yeah really and he's cool. he's such a tasteful drummer too like <laughs> hearing Chris Reifert described as tasteful he is, is the last okay, thing I thought I would of, ever hear. Listen, in the realm of OSDM old school death metal, he's got flavor, dude. He has no. I mean, yes, he's, he's got dynamics. You know, it's just funny to think of Chris Reifert as a tasteful fella. So in dive salad, I'm putting walnuts in. Which so sorry, mom, you're not gonna be able to have any of this because that would kill you. Or Marky, Marky's allergic to all nuts. Oh, all nuts? Uh, yeah, except for almonds. So there's, okay, because there's like, there's like two kind of classifications of nuts. There's like mm. nuts within a shell, and then there's nuts that are like the pit of a fruit. Oh, okay. Like almonds. So or like probably, avocado too? So he's probably okay with cashews, because cashews are, a, they're the inside of a cashew fruit. No, he's not good with cashews. Interesting. Yeah, because right. someone had wasabi and cashews could... yesterday, and they were like, no, keep it away from me. Well, he said keep it away from me. Well, that's yeah. my mom, too. She's not sh She's not even sure at this point what nuts she's can't allergic to. It. She just avoid it. Can't even smell it? Yeah, I can't even smell it. <laughs> He's I highly allergic. I've never smelled a cashew in my life. Do they have a smell? I'm just I wondering. Mean, they, I don't think they have a smell, but apparently uh, he's so allergic to it that he can't even Okay, okay, in interesting. Space, so interesting. Next time you go to a cartilage show, uh, bring all the trail mix you got. All right, you down with it? <laughs> yeah, fair. If you want to keep Mark away from you, which is not a bad idea. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's a very silly fella. Yeah. Um, down with Gorgonzola? Uh, say that again? Gorgonzola cheese. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, because we're going to crumble some Gorgonzola into the salad, and then we'll have to make a dressing. But we could do the dressing... Once we get the pizza going, that shouldn't take too long. Oh, yeah. Um, we also have some uh, not just mozzarella for the pizza. We're going to do some other yummy cheeses. So that, I see a couple cheeses on there, man. There are. I'm trying to do it up for you, buddy. There we go. 
Two years in the making, holy shit. Yeah, we're gonna do this. <laughs> All right, so we've got, I'm not gonna lie, the endive salad doesn't look like great. <laughs> it's kind of, <laughs> right? Yeah, it just looks like a bunch of leaves. It's very plain looking. <laughs> it's got walnuts, pears, the pears are beige. The yeah. endive's kind of like off-white. Everything has the same color so, so far. <laughs> yeah, but I'll try to I'll try to do that up with the um, the salad dressing. I have uh, Arata Mechanics uh, help me make a salad, uh, salad or helped to teach me a salad dressing that I like quite a bit. Um, so we got let's see feta here. We got everything. We got mozzarella ready to go. So we're gonna get um, the toppings ready. I've already sliced up some criminy mushrooms. Perfect. My favorite type Love of mushrooms. cheap mushroom to get. Mm. We're gonna have capers. Nice. Okay, we're down with capers. Of course, mozzarella. Yep. And uh, wait, this was the, oh yeah, so I got some feta cheese. Perfect. I love the little feta cheese accents on there. Mm -hmm. And then the one thing I did not get cut up yet was a little bit of shallot. Oh, nice. Oh, and I, no, I did forget something else. Artichokes. We're definitely gonna have some artichoke hearts. Fuck yes. That's, oh. that's my favorite topping on pizzas. <laughs> what a good friend I am to have, right? <laughs> Are you so stoked? This With was that worth... segue, I wanted to ask you, being mm -hmm. that the, the pizza connoisseur that you are, what do you think of pineapple on pizza? It only goes well with jalapeno. Good point. I don't, I mean, I don't eat uh, Hawaiian pizza, obviously, because it has ham on it. Right. So I have no idea if that's any good. Mm -hmm. But I've had pineapple on other stuff, and I was like, no bueno. Yeah. But something about with the jalapenos... Um, it tastes real. It, it, it's this nice sweet plus the balance. heat yeah. balance. And in that case, I do like um, I do like pineapples on pizza if they're paired with jalapenos. It could be really really tasty yeah. uh, combo that I like together. So there's certain things like that, but mm. generally don't like too much sweetness in my pizzas. Yeah, me neither. Um, Aris Mendy, from, you ever had Aris Mendy the bakery that? Well, pretty Oakland bakery. You're a Pacifica boy. Yeah. Um, so I know you always eat at the uh, Taco Bell on the beach, right? Like, that's uh, your favorite. Only when people come over, but like I never really go over there. I bet you did as a teenager, though. Uh, yeah, I did for sure. <laughs> like hanging out, checking out the girls. Oh yeah, having bonfires. Like fucking stealing liquor from yeah. the Safeway. Yeah. Yeah, having great. bonfires. Like let's go get another seven layer. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. But there is. I will just make a quick shout out. There is a better place to get Mexican food in Pacifica called Guerrero. Oh, better Taqueria. than Taco Bell? Oh, yes. No fucking way. Yeah. Believe it or not, that Taco Bell is only still running because of the location. Oh, but really quick, I got to stop. Um, Witchy Poo, I just, my mother just called me and I'm getting a, a new full set uh, of Pyrex bowls. Uh, oh, nice. That are going to, um, <laughs> a full four bowl set that is going to be this pattern. I'm very excited. So I will have uh, six different bowls of this pattern. Nice. And I should have a very nice product set soon. Wow. Very excited about that. Anyways, yes. So the Guerrero's in Pacifica. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's better than Taco Bell. You'll yeah. have to take me and show me because I just can't believe that yeah. that's possible. Believe it or not. The, How's uh, their gordita crunch? Well, believe it or not, the authentic Mexican food is a little better than Taco Bell. I don't no. know. It's hard to believe sometimes. But... Um, they make it with love, they make it right, and it's honestly probably my top five favorite taquerias in the Bay Area. You know, I did uh, I did have to take, um, I took Arata Mechanics, my girlfriend. Oh, okay. I, I did take her to a Taco Bell cantina because we had to get, uh, we had to get the fun. Baja Blast Actually, margarita. that's what the Pacifica one is now, their cantina. Yes, they were the first one. Oh, sick, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that. I did not. Your little hometown is, is famous. Is that actually your hometown? Pacifica? Yeah, that's where I was okay. born and raised, and I also lived in San Francisco for a little bit, but then I moved back to right. Pacifica, so... But yeah, that was the first Taco Bell Cantina was the one in Pacifica, um, oh. and the uh, but we went to the one in San Francisco because it happened to be while we were out doing stuff and having fun. Where and in San Francisco? It's somewhere. Embarcadero. Um, it's near the Embarcadero, yeah. And it um, but the funny the thing that I thought was so funny about it was you can't they they're still closed from the pandemic, so they don't have a dining room, but you can buy the alcohol in a takeout container. And as far as I can tell, so they, you can't drink it in there. That's illegal because they've closed off their area. It's against mm -hmm. their rules. But technically, you shouldn't have a container of alcohol like that on the street to drink either. Yeah. So you have to drink it in the doorway, I guess. That's pretty goofy. We just, we, we I don't remember where we drank it, but uh, it, it, there's so little alcohol in there, it actually doesn't really matter. But it did make me uh, 
I did find some whimsy in that. <laughs> um, That's goofy. So we've got an endive salad ready to go. We are going to, with oven baking a pizza, I like to do a quick pre-bake on the dough to make sure it gets nice and crispy because I don't have an oven pizza like Nate from Brain Oil. He has a pizza oven, sits out in his backyard, it gets up to a thousand degrees. So those pizzas wow. are in there, for, he, he, they're in there for about five minutes. Damn. And all he has to do is just like, t about two, min two, three minutes in, he turns it a little bit to make sure That's it gets so even cool. heat. And then this, he can't make big pizzas though. Brick so. oven? No, it's like a steel enclosure and it's wood fired. Wow. And it's like this portable thing, like about this big That's with so a big cool. chimney. Yeah, so. Wow. It's very cool, but he, um, I can't, so I like to pre-bake my dough to make sure that it, it doesn't uh, get too soggy anywhere. Mm -hmm. But it, the steel, the pizza steel that I have in there is thick, like maybe like a quarter inch steel, hard pressed steel. It weighs, it must weigh about like 18 pounds. Oh, wow. And so you heat that up for like an hour and then it, it generates so much heat off of it and Damn. collects it that it, it gives a nice crisp bottom like you would get out of a traditional pizza. That's awesome. As long as you do it right. But if you don't pre-bake it, I find the results are a little mixed. And also, yeah. I remembered the last time I made this, to get the artichoke hearts out first mm. and take some of the grease off because they're very, very greasy because yeah. they're in brine. So Sometimes that grease can interfere with the dough. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So we are <laughs> As going, much as I love artichokes. Yeah, we're going to take that out. We're just gonna press it in some uh, paper towels. Yeah, artichoke hearts are my favorite, man. Artichoke hearts are the bomb. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take that out and get some of the oil off of those. Are you uh, specific with w what kind of artichokes you get? Like the quartered ones? Oh the no, ones? these are, um, I get the biggest jar I can for uh -huh. the cheapest amount of money is the specific thing gotcha. I do. I buy cheaply so I can pretend I live like a king. Yeah, I noticed uh, the canned yeah. uh, tomatoes are also First Street. Yeah, First Street. Smart are you endorsed final. endorsed by First Street? I they, I they fucking should. I love First Street. Wow. It's basically like a Costco without Pretty a cool. member. Basically a Costco without a membership. Yeah. And um, the First Street. They're in they're in several places in California, and they sell big bulky items like they sell, um, you know, like gallon containers of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. If you ever need it, and, and mayonnaise jars like this big around and stuff like that. Only in America. Now, I don't get the man, but I do get the spices there. I get a gigantic jar of artichoke hearts. Why deal with a little can when you can have a gigantic jar of them? Yeah, and while it's like swimming in there, it'll still like last for like hella long. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Though that's uh, buying in bulk and buying cheap is the only way somebody like me, a screen printer, can <laughs> fucking eat well. Yeah. So. I'm going to get those uh, divvied up a little bit more before I get the dough going so I don't fuck it up. Um, let's see. Uh, was it? Uh, the, oh, we're, talk we're still talking about... Um, we're still talking about vintage cookware. And I know. I, I go oh, on... Oh, yeah. The, the which, asbestos uh, oven. <laughs> yeah. Witchy Mama. I, 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 I love my old Corel plates. I'm sure everyone's seen them because everyone goes, oh, my grandma had those plates. But mm. I go on Etsy and I start looking for different Corel bowls and plates and it's really bad because <laughs> they're really pricey because they'll last forever if you take care of them. Yeah, some of those. They don't make shit like that anymore. No, they're not. So we've got, I think we've got all the toppings we'll need for this pizza. And then still, oh, our other pizza... It should be risen in not that long. We'll have two pizzas oh, and a salad. Uh, oh, and I also, a little cheddar for color, mm -hmm. some Parmesan, the feta. This should all be ready nice. to go. And we're going to wow. throw in, let's see if I can get the, this cam going again. Still cam. Turn on. I got to figure out a better system. Here we go. No, wait. I, okay. There we go. So we'll go to stove cam because we're going to throw the pizza in. Stove cam. Is it working? It's not working. Damn it. Mm. You want me to be mobile with mine? Uh, no, because I'd have to hook it up. Oh, uh, right. Did, wait, did it go on? No, I turned. I, I hit it too many times. I think the, <laughs> the multiple beeps is when it turns off. There we go. Yeah. Now. Oh, shit. Stay on. Oh, it's just being a little bitch. Maybe the uh, maybe uh, even being 
plugged into USB. That is plugged in, right? Yeah, it's plugged in. You want me to use a different bitch. port, maybe? Oh, wait. Well, it says it's charging, but it's just... Well, I think we're just going to fail on this. Come on. Did you try wiggling the cable that's plugged into the camera? I gotta say, GoPro, fuck your shit. I gotta buy something else. <laughs> fuck your shit, GoPro. Damn. All right, so we're gonna stick this in for about five-ish minutes. Uh, I use the parchment paper so it's nice and easy to get back out. And now we are to the clock. Pizza has started cooking, so that means we can't really fuck around anymore. Do you need help with anything? Uh, I wish I could ask you to help me with something. I'm terrible about that. I'm really ter- I got you to make the juice. Yeah, you want me to like shred cheese or some shit? Um, yeah, you want to shred a little bit of cheddar for me? Yeah, of course. Great. Not a whole lot. We don't need a whole lot. It went, uh, right here. You said it's just for color anyway, right? Yeah, sh yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Um, I just like side? to put throw cheddar. <laughs> uh, the large side. Okay. And I also got to cut up these feta bits. Because once we're in action, I don't like to give the crust too much time to stop. Um, and and uh, once it's cooking, I want it to stay warm so we get a nice crispness all the way through. So the topping throwing on is going to go pretty fast. Let's see here. So I've got my I've got a good amount of feta crumbles there. That looks good. All right, I can put that back away. And we also need to start working on salad dressing. That will happen mostly during the actual pizza bake. Salad take dressing about. from scratch? Yes. Oh, wow. Everything from scratch for you, baby. Wow. That's how I do. Two years that's, oh, that's enough. That's okay, weird. That's, that's, that's definitely that's more enough. Than enough. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'll get used to the shit later. Yeah, yeah. Not a worry. Perfect. Um, let's see here. Uh, I want to get... Artichoke hearts cut up a little bit more. I got the mushrooms, shallots. Don't want to forget the capers. Okay. Know, I, don't, I don't see this, the capers are for the salad. Or that or cheese the, over uh, here. The capers are for the salad or the what? The capers are for the pizza. Oh, you know, I don't see too many capers in pizza. That was a thing my coworker um, suggested to me. He loves capers on his pizza, mm -hmm. and now I do too. Oh, wow. Sure not a good. whole lot. It's not like a whole lot of capers. It's Less just, is more for capers, for sure. Yes, absolutely. It's just like a little bit there. Like on a bagel. Uh, and that pizza already needs to come out. Damn. So, just do a little pre-bake. Get a little firmness there. So let's see if we can see what that looks like. So it's just a little baked. Nothing wow. even browned yet. That's pretty. A uh, little puffy there. And I like to... I like to do like uh, Pizza Hut, or is it, no, is it Pizza Hut that greases the, the bottom of their fucking pizzas all disgusting style? Uh, I actually do, don't know. I think it's Pizza Hut. <laughs> well, I just like to run a little butter along the crust. A little Dominos, butter, I think, does that too. Yeah, a little butter along the crust to keep it kind of uh, a little bit moist and give it a nice, keep the crust as yummy as the inside. Because mm -hmm. the inside, of course, is covered in cheese and such, but yeah, a little bit of butter on the outside and we'll make everyone eat it to the very ends, hopefully. Wow. Now we do some sauce. I like to spoon it on, and I always used to make the mistake of putting way too much fucking sauce on there. You don't want to put too much. You do want to see the dough underneath, otherwise it gets sloppy with all the other grease from the cheese and the other... But you don't want to put too little either. No, you want a good amount of sauce, yeah. but a, a little sauce actually goes a lot farther than you think mm -hmm. it will. Um, I sometimes you can you can even uh, if it if it concerns you a little bit or if it's going to get too sloppy, you can actually throw the sauce in for another little pre bake. That mm -hmm. is another thing I've can done in the past to get some of the moisture out of it, so it doesn't get trapped and make the pizza too what soggy. Do you, what do you think of those uh, pizza places? Because I just had this like. Like so that's that's back. that's about what I like. You can see some of the dough popping through. What do you think when they in. What do you think when they put the cheese, the toppings, then the sauce after at the end? What? Like drops? I saw this place do drops of pizza or drops of sauce on top of the toppings. Well, how did it come out? Uh, it didn't look too bad, and it tasted pretty good. This was some months back, though. That doesn't sound right to me. But the flavor is still there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just saying it seems weird to put yeah. the sauce on afterwards. Yeah. I guess it's maybe that's probably I bet that's probably some kind of style. That it was Detroit style. 
Oh, is that Detroit? Okay, I do love Detroit style pizza. I need to fuck with it some more because it's so good. It's I, very good. I don't really know how to make it. Where was where was this at? So this was a place uh, my coworker discovered uh, at, near my work called Pie Punks. Oh, I don't know Pie Punks. There was another Square uh, Pie Guys is really good though. Square Pie Guys is the local like Detroit place that I do. Yeah, know. they have a location in Oakland. Just real San quick, this is uh, so because we're doing uh, rounds of mozzarella, you leave a lot of space in between. Nice. Um, just to show you how that goes, nice. um, because it will spread out a lot. It's a, actually a lot of cheese. Uh, and then we're going to throw some feta around. That looks like enough. Go on about your pizza story, bro. Oh uh, yeah. So, um, what I noticed is there was no sauce underneath the cheese. The sauce was kind of in like random okay. like, squirts on top. So there wasn't a lot of marinara. Oh, I, you know, I have had pizzas style like that bad. before. I didn't mind it. It was not really my favorite. I like a little more even coating. Yeah. I definitely had that before though, where the sauce is kind of more like, like it's a little treat in between. Like yeah. it's like it's like the fruit at the end of a yogurt cup yeah. or something. Yeah, exactly. It was uh, it was good, uh, and you know, surprisingly enough, like the crust was not dry because of no sauce between the cheese layer and the crust. So it was pretty good. Yeah, I don't think I'm down for that style. I mean, it's, it's not bad. I've had it. It's not it's, my favorite. Yeah, no, it's like the real Detroit style. It's like there's good amounts. Of, it's basically just real Detroit style. Is like there's yeah. like shortening on the bottom of the pizza so it fries essentially, mm -hmm. and then um, and it's covered all the way to the ends yeah. with delicious. There's a lot of shit on going on here. Okay, and we got some mushrooms. Yeah, that looks pretty. I'll show it before it goes in. Most definitely. Do you like eggplant on your pizza? I have had eggplant on my pizza. I don't think it's the best. Eggplant yeah. is a very specific uh, vegetable or fruit. I don't right. know. It has to be prepared pretty good for it to actually be tasty and not mealy. Mm. A lot of people don't know how to prepare it right. So there's the pizza, ready to go. Super okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you have to clip for raw. Wait, Uncle D, just, just tell Uncle D I make a fucking round pizza already. <laughs> I'm so sick of fucking hearing about it. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. So this is gonna go in ten-ish minutes. I will have. Oh, I have to keep checking on it. Of course. Ten minutes. It's going right onto the pizza steel. You can already hear it frying it up. All right. So we got a bunch of shit over here. Now we're gonna make a salad dressing, and I'm hopefully gonna make this right because this is something I got off Rado Mechanics, and let's see if I can actually remember the correct proportions. We're we'll using Grey Poupon mustard. So I'm gonna spoon some of that in here. Oh, I should have gotten a smaller spoon. This is terrible. So yeah, let's see if we're out of my kind of, She told me like quite a bit of mustard. Grey Poupon. Yeah, great poop. Um, then we want red wine vinegar, and uh, the, her explanation was that balsamic is a little too sweet hmm. for what she cares for in this. What kind of dressing is this? This is uh, this is the one that Harada Mechanic showed me. Oh, okay, so this is one they made up. Yeah, this is one they make. I mean, it's, you know, salad dressing's not that crazy. You just kind of make it up as you go. Yeah. And then some olive oil. And then I will test proportions to make sure I haven't totally fucked this up. Mm. And some oil. That helps it spread around. And we'll just go ahead and shake that up. And see if that is any good. No black Let's pepper find out. or anything? Uh, no. I mean, you, there's all sorts of things you can do with olive oil. I'm trying to make a very simple one, or a salad dressing. Should at least run. There we go. I mean, you tell me what you think. Let's see. Is it runny? It's very good. There we go. Quite good. Oh, shit. I forgot the capers. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I forgot the capers. Oh, That's okay. Is <laughs> so that good? You good, good with that? It's All right. looking good. We're just going to throw some capers on. A little last bit. Fuck. Ah, it's so fucking hot in this oven. All right, there we go. 
Now, while he's washing his hands, I'm gonna eat some shredded cheese. Gray poop on mustard, yeah, so. Anyways, very good salad dressing. We'll set with that. I see we're at an hour five. I did think about making cookies too. Oh, shit. <laughs> Two pizzas and cookies? Watch your face, you're not on camera. Hello. Um, Expand the cheat day, fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, we can. Hey, if you want to make cookies, I'm down. I'm sure the traffic is going to be pretty bad. Well, yeah, we'll see how many people want to stick around. Yeah. But we'll definitely have some pizza. Yeah. Maybe two. That's the only thing is then the oven, the temperature has to change, but I could get the dough ready. Hmm. Um, we'll take it one pizza at a time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, get me to the, this one, I can't remember this recipe by heart. So get me to the fucking actual recipe, you bitch. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I needed to make... Keep an eye on this, first of all. That's got a little bit to go. So I'm gonna make the Alberetti cookies. I made these with, with Arata Mechanics before on here, but uh, I just was craving them and I realized I had the exact amount of flour I needed. Alberetti cookies are a Sicilian cookie. They are gluten-free, because they oh, use nice. almond flour. So actually, you're only kind of cheating. Hey, there you go. Because they are covered in tons of fucking sugar. Well. Sugar's what's gonna get you, man. Yeah. So that's gonna take, I need to get two room temp egg whites. And so I gotta separate those out. What kind of cookies are these called again? Amoretti. Oh, Amoretti, okay. So, yeah, I've had those before. Those are pretty good. They're really good. Uh, I, I dig them. So we're gonna get some egg whites out. You add chocolate to that? No, no chocolate. Just a ton of sugar? Just lots of almond and sugar. <laughs> okay, separate my egg whites out. Here we go. Why do you do that? I don't know. I wish I knew more about baking that I could tell you, but some things just call for egg whites and some things don't. So just no yolk at all? No yolk. Wow. And then there are certain other things I cook, certain dishes where they ask for uh, more yolk or only yolk. Hmm. Um, snickerdoodle cookies that I oh, make. Yeah. Those uh, require a one yolk and a half. So you have to wow. So you have or from an egg. So you have to add. Uh, you have to take separate one egg, but then the other egg goes in full. So Don't ask me. So precise. Well, with baking, you kind of sort of have to be. Yeah. So then this uses. So then I gotta with a, a with a pinch of salt. I fucking hate directions like that. <laughs> because we need to make. Um, where is it? The, yeah, we gotta whisk the egg whites into soft peaks, which so they look. You know what soft peaks are on an egg? No. That's like uh, hard peaks. Is basically, they're going to be whipped so much that when you put a spoon in it, it kind of lifts up. Oh, okay, gotcha. Soft peaks look kind of soft, oh. and hard peaks look like it goes up like a stalactite or something. Interesting. Or a stalagmite. This is a random comparison, but kind of like uh, Cold Stone Creamery. You ever have their ice cream, and it's just like... Yes, I mean, that's you're not far off. So that wasn't far off. Yeah, so let's see. Combine, uh, then we need uh, one cup of sugar. So yeah, this isn't exactly a cheat. It's going to go into almond flour. I like how it said one pinch of salt and a full cup of sugar. Yeah, right? Well, <laughs> every good cookie, right? Um, egg whites and salt. Wait, then uh, almond flour with the granulated sugar. Wait. Oh, okay, so yeah, and then um, almond extract. That's what I needed. Where did I put that? That's right here. That's gonna go in. Almond extract instead of vanilla extract. Every other cookie uses vanilla extract, but this thing, oh. it tastes like, it tastes like marzipan. So almond flour and almond extract. Yes. Interesting. It's really good. You don't get enough almond from the almond flour, so you need the extract? The extract is the <laughs> sweetness of the almond. Oh. So, so yeah, this is more like, you know, like interact vanilla extract. Yeah, of course. You want to try some? Fuck it, why not? Yeah, just put a little, you know, just dab a little. Well, it's not going to pour out like that. Uh, yeah, all right. Palm's cool. Perfect, try that out. Should just be like a sweet kind of marzipan flavor. Yeah, it's uh, like burning sweet. Burning <laughs> sweet. Holy fuck. <laughs> why is that burning my tongue? 
Well, you're really not supposed to eat extract like that, I don't think. Thanks, Ross. Oh, let me check the pizza. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pizza's looking good. Still got a ways to go. So we got time to prep cookies. Let's see, we got soft peaks yet? Uh, it could be a little bit, a little bit more. I think uh, about a few minutes from on that pizza, by the way. Yeah, we're good. I checked. Keeping time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't want you don't want me to fuck it up. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're doing a lot over here, so. I am. All right, so these are good soft peaks. Let me show you what soft peaks looks like. Let's see if we can get this in here. Yeah. Soft peaks, like, like kind of, kind of, you know, a little drippy. I'll show you if you yeah, can yeah, yeah. see they go up and they kind of fall over. Yeah, it's like lighter. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we will save our egg yolks later to make, I think I have an egg white in there for making another cookie the other day. So I will just put them back together. That's kind of weird, just putting like, it's like baby parts, putting them yeah, together. Yeah, just like separating them. Yeah, I've got an egg white from yesterday. I'm gonna add egg yolk later to make like an <laughs> omelet or fried eggs or something. It's like. If it calls for it. it. Seems morally wrong somehow, but yeah, that kind of, I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so let's see, make the dough, the egg whites and portions. Let's see, I'm trying to remember how this goes. Um, yeah, so we, I mean, that's basically it. It's all this. So I'm going to combine the almond flour. That's the weird thing about this one is it looks really dry at first, but it actually does hold together as a cookie. Mm. Yeah, it does look pretty dry. Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't eaten out of the egg whites yet. Mm -hmm. But that's what tripped me out. I thought I was doing it wrong the first time. Mm. So we take the egg whites and we put just a little bit in. That's super foamy. Mm hmm. We start folding that in there, putting that together in little portions. So, what other projects you got cooking, Adam? Um, what did, what did you, oh, you got you got a you you got a cartilage has some shows coming up, right? Like a yeah. week or two, a week and a half. You know, uh, yeah, cartilage. So uh, we're doing uh, actually we're doing okay. So next weekend we're going to be hitting L.A. and San Luis Obispo and Santa Cruz just to do a quick SoCal run. So that's going to be. For well, let me second. check when this hits. Oh, this so, hits yeah, yeah. right now. This drop, this episode drops right now live, so perfect timing. What do you mean? It wasn't live? I mean, yeah, no, it's totally live. That's my point. <laughs> <Dip> shit. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, we're doing that. We're doing three dates in SoCal, and then after that, we're playing um, Andre from Death Grave. He's having a birthday party at the Stork Club in Oakland on Sunday, February 27th. Oh, I think Kicker's playing that too, yeah, right? Yeah, Kicker, Voyeur, Us, and then a new band just got added, so nice. yeah. So we're doing that, and then we're gonna finally cartilage is finally gonna hit the East Coast in August for about a week or two. So. Well, and then I know I did the layouts for for that LA run you're doing. Yeah. You pressing your first the, the demo and the or what? Yeah. Can yeah. You so uh, well, Ross was nice enough to help us out with. And uh, shout out to Matt Slime for the covered artwork that he's done for you yeah, guys. Yeah, so uh, another shout out uh, to Matt Slime. He did the cover art for Dead of the Better and our EP Gourmet that came out in 2021, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Ross just finished the layout for the CD compilation for our first uh, demo, It's Necrotic, that was only pressed on tape, and uh, Gourmet, which was only pressed on tape as well. So we're finally putting this out on physical copy uh, CD, which will be available starting next weekend. So you know what? Uh, I have actually. Let's so, so people actually know what cartilage is like live. I actually queued up oh. uh, from it was H Town Metalhead from you guys show oh. at, in Houston, Texas. I forget the name of the venue. Uh, um, let's see, Houston, it wasn't coming. It's that it. it's that dumb place that's up like oh. a flight of stairs. Yeah, there's a big elevator. It's not come and take it, but it was. Yeah, I know the. The White Hall? White, yes. Oak, White Oak Hall. White Oak Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I queued that up. So let's watch a little bit of Cartage, Cartage Live while I get this dough uh, going and enjoy this. The proudest scene in that movie. Bunch of zombies and a lot of eating and lawnmowers. Spoiler alert, there's zombies. <laughs> or not zombies. We don't say the Z word. Silent for the steel.
Yeah, so anyways, that was cartilage. Oh, why is your camera frozen? Uh, That's weird. Yeah, go on. Turn on. I want, yeah, there we there are. We go. Cool. Okay, pizza's done. Smells uh, great. Looks perfect. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll leave that oven going. That is pretty. Let's see if I can get a good. Ah, it's still sliding. <laughs> Jesus. It needs a little time to cool. Yeah. So I'm not going to like flip it on its side just yet. But, but I think you cooked it the perfect amount of time, man. Yeah, that looks very good. Um, wait, let me bring it around over there. Maybe I can show it better on that. Yeah, try that. There. There's the pizza. So we're gonna let that rest a little bit before we try cutting it. Um, and yeah, I just realized I have no cutting, I usually cut on this cutting board. Mm -hmm. So let's just flip some things around. We have space over here too. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut on my fucking table, Adam. <laughs> you don't cut on a fucking table. Really? No. I won't leave fucking knife marks all over my fucking countertop. I've already got oh, some. Maybe I'm the only one. Yeah, maybe you are the only one who just has like giant crazy knife marks everywhere. <laughs> you see at the bottom. Oh yeah, crisped up on the bottom. It's gonna be beautiful. Just need to let it cool down a little bit. I may add you you darkened the edges perfectly without overcooking the uh, middle of the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so I did a good job. All right, now we got something to cut that on. But in the meantime, we can make another fucking pizza. Oh shit. And then we'll get the cookies uh, after the second pizza. Wow. So, this is the other dough. I haven't even gotten you one pizza yet, and you're still getting your second one. Damn. So this is the second one. It didn't, this one did not rise up as much as it did when I did the party before, but we're gonna cook it anyways and just see what happens. It's a bit of an experiment. I had to half the, the dough ratio, because um, it's supposed to make like three. Yeah, it's still really wet. Fuck. Well. Let's see, uh, can you open that bread flour for me? Bread flour, oh yeah. Just need to get my hands a little. So yeah, this is uh, not as quite as dry a dough as would be ideal. How much do you need? I'm gonna put a little on there. But yeah, we're just gonna see if we can't make two pizzas in one day. Cool, all right. There we go, now I can handle it. There we go. So now I think we're just gonna make a standard margarita pizza, which is some tomato slices, some basil. I like a good margarita. Yeah, margarita pizzas are great. Named after Queen Marguerite because she wanted to try out pizza mm -hmm. and uh, because it was the food of the poor people because they thought, the idiots thought tomatoes were poisonous because of course the leaves are. And so only poor people ate tomatoes for a while but Queen Marguerite was like, well, I want to try what those fucking slobs are eating. And mm -hmm. so they made her a bunch of pizzas, and the margarita pizza was the one that she liked best. So it wasn't so they named, named after, after the mixed drink? Huh? It wasn't named after the no, mixed drink? It was not named after the mixed drink. Oh, Adam. man. It's not. I fucking hate you. I don't know if I like margarita pizza anymore. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, notice you don't usually use orange curacao, or, uh, or I'm sorry, triple sec in a fucking pizza. I don't think it would be very good. Mm. So, all right, so it's slightly smaller pizza. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw that in because I would love to get to the cookies too. And we still have a salad. That's gonna go in about five minutes. I have to cut open this mozzarella. I'm going crazy, I'm gonna have fucking pizza all goddamn week. It's gonna be great. Perfect. I'll send you home with some too. Oh, nice. Oh, come on, slice open. Running out of room here. There we go. Ah, that cheese out of there. Because we have enough sauce for a couple pizzas, so why not make a couple pizzas, yeah. right? Why not? Do you like uh, Do you like anything on the side of your pizza, like sauce-wise? Um, no. Okay. I used to do ranch like a slob when I was a younger punk, and it, that shit's actually really disgusting. So, why don't I see how this? Yeah. Okay, this pizza looks good. I'm gonna make you some salad oh thank you and uh i hope well, the salad's good well balanced 
make sure there's some walnuts in there. And uh, get pork for that. And some dressing. And we're gonna feed Adam from Cartilage and Mantra. And what was that? What was the name of your goofy old band? Uh, Ion. Ion. <laughs> That's a good name. Yeah, it was all right. So, if you would like to take that. Right, thank you, sir. And I will start slicing up some pizza for you. And let me know what you think of your endive salad. Here we go. I'm going to try my endon, endon salad. Endive! <laughs> Well, I like that I'm not hearing anything from you. That seems like a good sign. Mm -hmm. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, going back to like the whole pineapple uh, jalapeno talk. Uh, yeah. The dressing goes really well with the sweetness of the pear. Interesting. Cool. Says it has more of a tart mustard flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Really good. Okay, let me just check this dough really quick and then I'll get you... I'll get you a slice of pizza there, son. Hey! Get, uh... And there we go. A nice, delicious slice of pizza. Here we go ahead. Let me show my camera. Look at that. Professional. All right. Two years in the making. Two year pizza. <laughs> Damn, that's uh, the cheese. I gotta say, the cheese looks like it came out perfect, man. I do my best there, son. Like, you literally, like, perfectly didn't overcook it, and it looks, like, just tame. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, let's try it and see what you think. Yeah, let me see. Butter the outside of this crust, too, because I'm... Got that so nice and golden looking and do that. Mm -hmm. Since I'm making a margarita here, I'm gonna make the cheese even a little bit more sparing, or the yeah, the cheese and the sauce a little bit. It's a little bit more. I'm gonna let the pizza sit for a little longer. Why is it sloppy? Uh, no, it just looks like it's still steaming. Well, yeah, that's when you're supposed to fucking eat food, Adam, when it's hot. Yeah, and burn the roof of my fucking mouth. Well, savage. that's what that was my goal here was to harm you. Thank you. Nice try. So let's. Uh, Put some cheese on here. Salad's good though. I can't wait to dig in, to dig in myself. I'm gonna dick into the salad. I am gonna dick <laughs> into that fucking salad. That's the way I dig it. Alright. We got uh, some fresh Roma tomatoes to put on this margarita pizza. I'm about to try the slice. Wow. Uh, I need another knife. I'm running out of cut right here. When the crust feels like that, you know it's legit. Holy shit. Here we go. Mm. How'd we do? Mm -mm. I love it. Delicious. Wow. Wow. That crust, though. The crust? You weren't kidding. That sourdough crust? <laughs> that crust is amazing. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. That's uh, that's why you cultivate your own sourdough thing wow. so you can bring friends over and have them feel indebted to you forever. It definitely feels like an upper class pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's great. Wow. All right, we got some tomatoes. We're gonna throw in the margarita pizza. Makes me think that all the pizza I've had for all these years are just like cheaper crust. That's why I don't <laughs> go out for pizza anymore. I do once in a while, of course. I want to try some shit. I want to try this food. Uh, I'm going to have you try this salad that I've never had before. Yeah. Fancy endive salad. Pears and walnuts. I had just enough walnuts left over from another cooking experience. And let's see, what is the stream saying? Brutal, yes, fuck yeah. Let's go. We've got emotes. I don't know what that means. I gotta figure out emotes still. I'm still reading up on this shit and how it works. All right. 
I don't know. If, I think I've had endives only as like a as like a way to serve food in them, like uh -huh. you stuff them with shit. Yeah. Like a boat. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Around the panic. I love the way you make salad dressing. It's like probably my favorite salad dressing. I can't go back. So good. Mmm. Just a little vinegar, some oil, and mustard. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking kidding me? Doesn't need any more than that. Less is more. Mmm. I love these. I am an endive fan now. And just a little bit of the gorgonzola in there. Mmm. This is a plain ass looking salad, but it tastes so good. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of layers going on. And that pear just cuts just a bit of sweetness in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. And pear really brings out the sweetness of the walnuts when you get them together in a bite. Oh yeah. Mmm. All right. It keeps us all good. Don't forget there's another one coming. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> so, I want to try a little slice of the pizza. I'll choose this plate. Oh, it's a little sloppy in the middle. Let's see. We got the nice crust on the back, but it is a little sloppy from all the cheese. Ah! See, I feel like it's a fail if I can't fold it and bring it to my mouth. Yours did. You know, mine like stayed flat the whole time. It's pretty thick. Mm. Wow. Tastes phenomenal. I think I grabbed a bad slice because the rest of them were, the rest of them seemed solid. Maybe it was just a little bit less dough pressed down there. Mm. But I do love that sourdough. Mm -hmm. mm. There we go. You know, I hear a lot of. Pizza connoisseurs talking about basil. Mm -hmm. did, did you add some? I didn't. I, didn't, I don't think I noticed it. <laughs> There's a little basil in the sauce. Oh, okay, got gotcha. dried basil. The margarita, when it's done cooking, will get fresh basil on oh, okay, it. Okay, gotcha. That's the way that works. I'm still working on this Jaeger and orange juice. I filled mine. Do you want another one? I might. An orange juice and Jaeger? <laughs> do you have a regular ass beer in there? I do not have any beer. I oh, wow. Beer. You want to talk about a good way to diet? Yeah. Stop drinking beer. Start drinking cocktails, son. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Speaking of beer, have you had Budweiser Premium? <laughs> yeah, I, the whole idea of a premium Budweiser. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? A premium Golder Lager. So this kid. Well, I shouldn't say kid. This guy at the show yesterday, he was like, you want a beer? And I was like, sure. And I was like, holy shit, Budweiser Premium? And that doesn't like, make any sense. He's like, any... he was like, he was like, dude, I don't know. I just stole whatever Winco had. <laughs> any, it doesn't make any sense. It's the most any... shit I've ever heard. Yeah, Budweiser Premium because we we need Budweiser. You're not, you were never meant to be premium. All right, so some of my slices are fine. The one, first one I got was a little sloppy, but that's what it should do. Okay. Wow. So that's good. I just happened to get a particularly sloppy little end of one. I feel better about myself now. I am pretty hard on myself when I cook. Uh, I just want to get better. Delicious pizza. So we have that. Let me check on this margarita. That's going to take a little bit. So I'm like running out of room to do shit because I really want to get these amaretto cookies going. That's going to take some time. We might not even get to that. Um, depending on how long people want to stick around and and stream. Yeah. Mm. This is usually about the time I end. Oh, really? Once, it, well, once we actually take our first bite. Wait for the margarita. All right. We're going to wait like 10 more minutes for the other pizza. I'll make the cookies, but it might just be for Adam. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, just phenomenal. Good job. The end crust is delicious, right? If you still want to get it all the way to the end, mm -hmm. that's important. No, oh, I'm going. Um, what other questions do I have for the guy from Cartilage? <laughs> we, got, we went through your shows. Yeah. We went through your other band. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite horror movie? Mm. 
favorite horror movie. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm actually a little bit bigger of a sci-fi guy. Oh, okay. What's your favorite um, sci-fi movie? Blade Runner. Get out of my house. <laughs> it's hard, dude. Blade Runner, Alien. Alien's a great movie. I get a lot of shit for this. I don't like Blade Runner. You have a Blade Runner t-shirt. I know. I got it for free. I helped design it. You helped design that shirt? Not the art. I just put it like, oh, Was it for uh, Warlord? Mm. Hangar 19. Punk stuff. Never heard. It used to be around here. Oh, cool. So, that used to be some good freelance money for me, but he folded up shop. Yeah, I mean, I love... Um, I've been digging a lot into uh, the AI robot stuff lately. Yeah. <laughs> I rewatched it. I because it's scary and we're stuck in a world where... Um, we're getting there. Every time you ask... Uh, was it GPT chat to do something? You harm, you harm my heart. Don't instruct GP, GPT chat how to do things. Don't make AI art. Like they're going to, it's going to happen, but you don't have to help hasten it. Hey, but what about AI stand up? Well, anything can be better than most of the stand up out there right now. So our bass player Keenan, he sent it, he sent us recently AI Seinfeld episodes. I heard about this. I haven't seen it. It's actually pretty fucking funny. Like they actually read well, or they? No, or? they 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 are automatically just responding to each other. And they're bad. It's it's bad in the best way possible. <laughs> Until they can actually write an AI Seinfeld. Yeah. And then we're fucked. Yeah, and then Larry David's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. Then the music plays. He's got nothing left to do with his life. Or whatever. He's really old. No. Anyways. You know what? Let me think though. Favorite horror movie. In recent years, American Psycho is really, really good. Mm, I like American Psycho okay. In some ways, I thought it was better than the book. Mm -hmm. But I think Brett Easton Ellis overwrites. Mm -hmm. I learned something new. Which I guess is the point of the book, but at the same time, it's a slog. Mm -hmm. Fuck, what else? Um. Hellraiser is always great. I like the first three. Uh, the, the first three? You like Dischead? Yes, I do like Dischead. Because it's like the this? most 90s shit I've ever seen. Okay, well, you <laughs> like it for the right reasons. I can appreciate it. Yeah, when they bring out the, the disc set bite the CD player changer. <laughs> that's it's the most 90s shit, ever. dude. Uh, it's almost shit I've ever seen. Yeah, but I like life. why you like it. Yeah. I don't take it serious, but, yeah. What's your favorite horror movie? Um, Evil Dead 2 probably is top of my list. Mm. Um, Dawn of the Dead, mm-hmm. that's up there. Uh, um, one of the ones that I always want to rewatch. Evil Dead 2 is just the best. It is mm-hmm. one of the best. Return of the Living Dead is definitely up there. Oh, Reanimator. Dude. Reanimator yeah. and Bride of Reanimator. Yeah, I think Bride's it's really a good. sorely overlooked sequel. Yeah. Mm. Basket Case was a pretty good one. I saw Where is my pizza me? cutter? <laughs> this is my pizza cutter. I need to get one with a pink handle because it doesn't match any of my shit. Mm. It works okay though. But yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe this wouldn't leave a knife mark on my counter, but I, I don't really want to risk it because I'm renting. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Mm. Um, I need this to come out. Let me see, what can I do here? I could set this aside. I'm trying to make room. I have a pretty big kitchen, but this shit's getting out of control. Cause maybe I will make those fucking cookies. Hey, why not? Um, so the cookies, I need a bowl of powdered sugar. And we're gonna go ahead and make Italian amaretti cookies too. Although I should probably make you a cocktail soon since your, your drink is gone. Yeah. I'm gonna make you a cocktail. New cocktail. New cocktail. This is called, uh, I wrote it down, it's, uh, cause I just finally got amaretto so I can have this cocktail again. This is called a French Connection friend, um, Annie, who does the Guts Giallo Girls, uh, podcast, uh, where we're hanging out watching movies and introduced us to this and this lovely cocktail, which is really easy. It's just, it's just uh, one part cognac, one part amaretto. 
the sophisticated. I don't think I've had sweet cocktail before. Oh, well, we're getting into the almonds because amaretto is an, is an almond liqueur. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Go for it. Damn. It's very delicious. So what is it again? Sorry. It's cognac. Cognac. And amaretto, which is an almond liqueur. Oh wow. So we're just getting right back into the almonds here. Damn. Going straight to it. And the cognac I have for when I make uh, eggnog. Wow. It's a good drink, right? Yeah. Simple. It's very simple. But it tastes, it tastes really nice and sophisticated in this weird way. Very sophisticated. Um, I should probably make myself one of those. <laughs> oh, so yeah, the Amoretti cookies. Oh, wow. I'm gonna make little balls of dough. They're not too big, about that big. And they're not really gonna get much bigger than that. And then you roll them in powdered sugar before you bake them. You, you, ever, you ever make pizza with almond flour? Uh, no, because I like my pizza to taste good. I'm not into uh, gluten-free uh, pizza. Uh, Sorry, not doing cauliflower you pizza. You never tried it? I, I have tried some, and I have not really thought it was great. If anything, I'm like, well, you made it kind of passable. It's kind of like my, my coworker said this thing. He said he saw like they made a vegan blue cheese, and he was like, no. He's like, look, that's ridiculous. Sorry, you just don't get that. I can't get behind vegan cheese. If you um, so yeah, it's like a. Well, I mean, there are there are vegan cheeses that will like substitute okay in something mm -hmm. for certain purposes, but it's like if your need for blue cheese was so great that you like that you were like I'm a vegan, but I can't be vegan unless I can have blue cheese. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe you just shouldn't. I mean, lactose intolerance aside, which is of course, uh, but it just seems ridiculous. Like a blue cheese. Yeah. Like that's just that's beyond the pale of trying to fake things. I will say Rhea from Cartilage makes a really good vegan nacho cheese. That's my only exception. Oh, there are good, yeah, there are good. Uh, Cashew base, I think. Christy made a very good. Well, nacho cheese isn't a real cheese, anyways. It's a highly emulsified American blend. Yeah. So why not make it fake anyway, since it yeah. already is. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let me get these rolled. I think that other pizza is. Very, very close to done. Probably, yeah. At least get a couple of these rolled out so I can throw these in. Although the pizza does need to cool down to about 325. Mm -hmm. so, oh, interesting. Yeah, so I'm going to have to leave it open and we're going to get really, really warm in here. <laughs> All right, and I'm ready cookies. Boom, there we go. Wait, one more. You kind of almost prep them like uh, you ever have alfajores? Uh, no, I don't know what that is. What is oh, that? really? So let me enlighten you. It's a, yes, please. It's a Peruvian cookie that's made with two shortbread pieces, like an Oreo, and it puts dulce de leche in the middle. That kind of sounds like a macaron. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, but Peruvian style. Okay. Super good. I just thought of that because you were powdering those guys. All right, this definitely needs to come out, although I'm not super, super pumped on... My cheese spread on it, it was a little uneven. But we're gonna bake do anyway. Cool. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> God. this one didn't come out quite as good. Uh, maybe it just needs to be end of oil. You know what, I'm gonna stick it just a little bit longer. Really, you think it needs to go longer? Well, the middle cheese is, that's why it's kind of hard getting fresh mozzarella sometimes, because now, you're right, it needs to come out. I, I think I'm looking, it's done, I'm looking dude. at the dough. Yeah. I but think, uh yeah. It's a little bit sloppy, so we're just gonna leave that there. Oh and I gotta open this up, turn it down to 325. Let Quite that go good. down. Would you like another slice of the other pizza? Well, uh, let's see. I'm good for now. I'm gonna probably try the that one in what a uh, like a little bit. Before. Okay, so we need to let it cool down. In sure. order to have a proper margarita pizza, we've got the tomato on top, just pure fresh mozzarella. And then you gotta put some basil leaves on while it's cooling down. Let's see, get these washed a little bit because I don't trust the grocery store. Mm -mm. And you put them on there and then they kind of cook in the oil. It's so good. They don't get really cooked like an oven, but they cook on the pizza to be a little more delectable and tasty. And then what I do with the olive oil I want to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on there. Oh, good idea. Well, that's what you do with a margarita. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Can't say I've seen it freshly made. Yes. So, I get a little bit there. Okay. You don't want too much because it'll grow so bad a little bit, especially on the leaves. You see the leaves kind of start wilting onto the pizza under the heat. I noticed you made this one a little thinner crust too, huh? That is just the crust that I made. Oh, uh, just a little leftover. Yeah, gotcha. So where are we at? On temperature, we can almost throw the cookies in. Ooh. And that I actually will need to time very specifically 15 minutes. And for anyone who's stuck through all of this, your gems. So with an oven as ancient as this one, how do you know the temperature? Oh, yeah, I have to have a, <laughs> my ancient ass oven. There's, there, just so I, I don't, no one can see it, but there is... I have to... There's an analog clock, and there's nothing else Yeah, on the no, dash. there's not. There's, and I have to... So, yeah, so essentially I have to... Um, I'm going to try to get that piece of steel out of there. Uh, oh, I see it. There's a... Yeah, the big steel which yeah. is right now. It will burn the shit out of me if I'm not really careful. So let's do this extremely carefully. Make some room, because otherwise it will keep the oven heated too much. So we're at about 325. That's perfect. I gotta get this gigantic heavy thing out of here and not. Otherwise the cookies won't cook very even. There we go. Damn. So get this on a little rack. This is this is this is making it all work together. All right, and we'll put the cookies in. Here we go. Let's take a look at this margarita pizza, shall we? It's pretty. Um, see, so uh, oh, somebody has a bunch of VCRs. I, I miss a lot of the chat. It's hard to keep up. I'm sorry. There's the margar. Wait, no. There we go. Yeah. That's the margarita pizza. Smoking. It is steaming. It looks good. And why not? Since we're getting crazy, put a little parmesan on it. Hey, I didn't know you had Parmesan. I know, I forgot. You know, you know personally... <laughs> I'm balancing a lot here. I'm making a salad, two pizzas, That's and okay. cookies. I will say this. Parmesan's good, but I think Romano's better. I think you might be right, but I happen to have Parmesan. And we're going to eat the Parmesan, but I'm just telling you I my do, opinion. No. I think Romano's the best, and I think Trader Joe's has the best Romano. They do have a good Romano. When I get ba when I get make pesto, I did make it with Parmesan and Romano. And I do, um, I you end up using the Romano more as a topping on stuff than I do mm. Parmesan later on. So we're flipping out, sorry. I just don't feel like dragging this pizza yeah, around all over the place. Space here. We're just, nice. oh, sorry, that's the Parmesan. Wow, look at it curl up. Hell yeah. <laughs> Freshy. All right. You want to flip that up with the camera without dropping it? Yeah, I just noticed that the camera's a little delayed, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, mine is. It is. It sure is. Let's try... <laughs> let's turn that off for a second yeah. and turn it back on, see if that helps. Hi. Let's see if that uh, catches up or not. If it shows up. Yeah, cool. That looks better. Cool, cool, cool. So... See that? That looks pretty good. This is a masterpiece. All right, we can cut it. Woo! I like how some of the sauce just spilled out on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this crust hangs up with the other one. So you've had the sourdough crust. Yep. Now you're going to have this other regular. Uh, this is just a yeast rise, no sourdough. Interesting. Which one do you prefer, sourdough? I love the sourdough, but this is a surprisingly good crust for how simple it is. That's why I made it again. But yeah, this one is good because it only took an hour to rise. So you can... Versus four. Yeah, so I was able to make like three of these at a party. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know if the stream is lagging. The iPhone stream's definitely lagging. <laughs> Good God. The video capture device is, is not working great. Try to load that up again. Not sure why that's slowing down. There we go. There's Adam. Oh, hello. Yes, yeah, it's lag. Working. It's still lagging a little bit. 
Uh, technical issues. I'll figure it out. So, is it a little too hot? I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit. All right, well, we got cookies in about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And those will probably be too hot to eat, too. But I'm going to make myself a cocktail after I finish the Flabbeth juice. The Flabbeth mm. special. That's right. We're all drinking Flabbeth juice over here. It's good, though. It's orange juice. It's like hydrating along with the uh, alcohol. And now that I've hydrated with pure orange juice, now I'm just going to drink a cocktail that's pure alcohol. Oh, how is it? Pretty stringy mozzarella. Very stringy, but tasty. And the crust isn't bad. I do like the sourdough more, but the crust is really good as well. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's just a yeast-rized crust, but I was, like I said, it was a good party pizza. Yeah. I was able to make a, a bunch. Dish. Yeah, I was able to make a bunch of them, uh, have them keep coming out. You know, uh, I also, I was wondering this uh, with the other crust too, like, you know how you lathered it with butter? Yes. I wonder if those other pizza places, like, if they'll lather it at the end. Uh, I prefer to lather it while it's cooking, and mm -hmm. getting the butter kind of soaked in there, getting that flavor gotcha. in there. Oh shit, that is an alcoholic cocktail. Yeah, dude. This video capture device is fucking with me. Oh, but now you're back. And it looks like it's the right, correct time. Yeah. Um, Luigi, Luigi, I'm but thank you for the repost and playing with me. Where was that? Where did I play soccer? I remember, did I play soccer in Portugal with some people? I, don't, I can't remember. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Luigi. Um, so yeah, let me try a slice of that. Yeah. Throw a slice of that on there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, crust is holding up good. Yeah, crust is holding up great. Nice, nice and solid. Pretty good on the bottom. Mmm. That is a good solid crust recipe. Mm -hmm. It makes a good, easy to make crust. Done in an hour. Done in an hour, ready to go, mm -hmm. homemade. Mmm. It's good. Yeah. This is good. Well, it was well worth the wait, folks. Two years, you got two different pizzas. Two years, I got two pizzas and cookies. And cookies in about eight minutes if we can figure out a way to pad the time right now. Hmm. Mm. That's okay. We're still going to bring this in in under two hours. Cool. I think it's just enough for people to put up with us. Mm hmm. That's, uh, but that's, what? We're going to have three courses? Yeah. Three courses, two pizzas, cocktails. Man, I have got to figure out why it's doing that. Dude, it's been hella laggy. I am so sorry. It's we're okay. going gonna to figure out some technical fixes on this shit. Mm. I'm going to talk to Duck King. He's much smarter than me. He's going to figure it out for me so I don't have to. I can just continue cooking. Let me make sure these cookies are doing okay. They seem to be. Hopefully I didn't fuck this up because I am trying to balance a lot here. Mm -hmm. But you can balance a lot, and you can cook. It's all doable. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, fuck yeah, pizza. Shit, yes, dude. So delicious. I need to... Maybe I'll just do all pizza streams in the future. <laughs> the video... All the videos frozen? Hmm. Are you updated on the chat, by the way? Is that all the way in the bottom? Let me, uh, I could be running out of RAM. Let's see, uh, maybe I'll turn this down. Oh, I can't do it because I'm streaming right now. It wasn't bad, like, in the beginning, like, the first half. But, yeah, we are running a lot of RAM here, and, uh, I hope the whole video isn't frozen. It's really hard to say, uh, Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. We still have 11 viewers, but it's, I could be running out of RAM. I can't tell. If, yeah, that fucking thing is broken. Mine seems to be running fine. I maybe I need to like, turn this off. Uh, I'll turn that off for a while. Adam, why don't you come over here? 
Sure. I'm gonna go turn off the video capture device. Cheers. There, get in, get in the frame. Here we go. We can uh, we can fix that a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that was an alcoholic so, cocktail. All right, so we got the one thing off. Oh yeah, looks like my audio is a little off. Looks like your video quality have... went low too. Oh, well, that's the <laughs> that's the laptop cam. Anyways. This is my good buddy Adam, and we still have five minutes, so I gotta pad five minutes of shit. Oh, I didn't know you were timing it the whole time. Yeah, I I upped my bit rate because I got a lot faster uh, internet this this week, which was very exciting to get much faster internet. But maybe I uprated uh, my bit rate a little bit too much, and um, it's just not keeping up with the stream. Man, maybe Twitch is fucking up. So Adam, what are you gonna make next at home? Do you cook? I do cook. Um, I mean. Since I cut out, like, most flowery stuff, I just cook vegetables and meats. Because you're just getting a little punchy? Yeah, I get a little, a little punchy. Yeah, I get a little punchy, but I lost some. I lost some recently, so. Yeah, so it's going good for you? Yeah, it's going great. Yeah, it's going really good. But you're good. still drinking beer? On the weekends. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah they yeah. should have a, day, a time set for it. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink, like, every day after work or anything, so. Yeah, I usually just cook, like. But playing, playing drums in three bands, um. Oh, we didn't even tell the story about how Adam filled in for Exhumed at our show in Sacramento valiantly when, oh, yeah. when our drummer Mike <laughs> accidentally ate some weed gummies that he didn't realize were weed gummies. And he had to, we took him to the hospital because we weren't sure what was wrong with him. It was scary. It, it, all it was happened, very scary. It all happened uh, while the first and second band were playing. Yeah, so Mike ended up not being able to do the show. And Adam said, oh, well, I guess I could play the songs if you guys need. And I was like, <laughs> horse, shit you, horse shit you can. Being the exhumed fan I am. <laughs> yeah, Adam knew the songs well enough that he sat down for like about 20 minutes mm -hmm. like while the, one of the bands was playing. Vigil was playing, yeah. Listened to like the CD of the songs he knew best. And I think we got through five and a half songs. Five and a half or six. And I the half remember. the half was only because uh, me, and Bass, is me and Bass couldn't do it. Because we hadn't practiced that song. Yeah, waxwork is way too complicated. <laughs> you would have made it through, I'm sure of it. I was just like, ugh. But it was fun. So, yeah, that was a so, feeling. Yeah. So, Adam uh, got to play also in Exhumed. There you go. Cheers. There you go. Cheers Thanks for, for uh, saving the show, mm -hmm. kind of. <laughs> And then uh, it was just a big shit show. After and then that. after that, we, they, there was just covers and shit. So, yeah, good old Sacramento. Like I don't mind the lag. Um, let me see. What, uh, we have uh, uh, there's, there's like this. I can't understand this stupid thing. It doesn't show me the entire chat. I gotta. Oh well, wait, is it because you're not scrolled all the way down? Let me see here. Uh, proceed. Does that make it go? Oh, now I can. <laughs> Uh, I'm on the DivX codec. Um, it's refreshing a single frame every 30 seconds. Does this whole stream look like that? Why the fuck would you guys even be watching? Uh, I hope I hope it doesn't just look like one fucking frame every 30 seconds because this I would be embarrassed. I'll have to look at this later and maybe just delete this whole fucking thing. Yeah, we'll you, see. is it ar in an archive it after? Yeah, it archives it. Um, and oh, then um, okay. And then I'll be able to see, but I can't check it right now. Maybe I actually can. Well, that makes sense why you said you're running out of RAM because it's constantly probably saving it. Right? Well, it's saving it on online. That makes sense. I have to. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. With this. I need to keep like another computer logged in so I can look at <laughs> how bad Wait, my streams are going. Why don't I just check on my phone? Yeah. Why don't you? <laughs> that would be handy. We're about two and a half minutes away from cookies. So uh, now we're just uh, now we're just uh, checking things out. I would be so very sad if it looked that bad. Was it dark sewage? Dark sewage. And we'll see how bad this stream fucking looks. Wow! If anyone's wondering, uh, Chiefs are down by three. Eagles are up twenty-four twenty-one. <laughs> oh well, I wasn't. Let's see, it's opening now. I also don't get the best service here. Why? This is so terrible. This is not good TV. Oh, why did you open it? No, I'm just like this. This isn't good TV. <laughs> there. Now I can find. I can go look at it and see how oh, bad it is. Coming up. 
We're gonna see how bad this stream looks and how bad I'm fucking it up right now. Oh god, it's showing me an ad. That's not helpful at all. Uh, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> it's for Let me see. sure laggy. It's just hanging like that? Never. It's not even streaming me? Let me see. Holy shit. That's how yeah. delayed it is. Oh, all right. Everything fucked up. I'll have to figure.